Good morning, students. So, before we start, please bow our head and feel the presence of our God. Once again, good morning, class. Before you sit, kindly pick up the piece of paper under to your chair and sit properly. Um, who's the absent for today, Miss Secretary? No one? That's great. All of you are active to my class. So, before we begin to our new topic, who will remember our lesson yesterday? Just raise your hand if you want to answer. Okay, Miss Galupo. What is our lesson yesterday? Next question. In your own opinion, what is the meaning of masonry? Okay, Mr. Carion. Very good. For the third question, give me an example of the different tools and equipment in masonry. Mr. Bernilo? Excellent. And last my and last my question. What is the importance of tools and equipment in masonry? Okay, Mr. Andrew. You're right. So, students, I prepare a game which is guess the picture and I think this will be easy for you to answer this game because this game have a connection to our new topic. Let's proceed to the, our first picture. Who wants to try? Mr. Bernino. Very good. Second one. Raise your hand if you want to answer. Okay, Miss Alvarez. That's correct. For the third one, Mr. Carion. Awesome. For the fourth one, Miss Martinez. Excellent. And to our last picture, Mr. Mr. Galupo. Good job, students. Are you having fun to our games? That's great. So let's proceed to the unlock difficulties. Let's unlock the un unlocking difficulties terminologies. First, when we say beech wood, it is derived from beech trees located in northern continents. It is a reddish brown wood that can be incorporated to the many areas of the house. It is often for making chairs, tools, and hardware and floors. And word that though, it means it is cut across the or perpendicular to the grain and it is thus differentiated from a group which is soot and cut with with or parallel parallel to the grain. Third one, dowel pin. When we say dowel pin, are industrial fastener that are used to join two or more items together. They are shortly cylindrical rods made of various materials including wood, metal, and plastic. And lastly, when we say joint, it is a natural connection where the ends of two wooden working pieces meet. It's designed to hold the wooden work pieces together thus eliminating the needs for the glue or adhesive. And last last one, the pre-drill. Pre-drill refers to the drilling of a hole in the work piece that has a smaller diameter than the screw that are end of the screw. And that's all. This is our unlocking difficulties. So, let's begin to our new topic. Our topic is types of wood joints. When you hear woodworking joints, what comes to your mind? So, let's see. Woodworking joints come in a variety of configuration that join together two pieces of wood. Some joint in bulb carving channels into two different wood. So, that they lock together while others use fastener like nails, screw to hold them in place so let's proceed to the types of different to the types of different wood joints first one is the basic butt the butt joint is the most basic woodworking joint commonly used when framing walls in conventional stick frame homes this joint relies on the mechanical fastener to hold the two pieces of stock in place. Sa madaling salita, ang basic joint ang pinakamadali at pinakamadaling gawin na joint sa lahat. Kung mapapansin natin sa larawan, ito ay pinagdugtong lamang nakahoy. Kaya madali siya gawin at mabilis din gawin. Next is metered bat joint. A metered bat joint is basically the same as 
as basic bat joint except the two boards are joined at an angle instead of square to, do, to one another. Kung mapapansin natin sa meter joint, yung pinakadulo nila is meron siyang angle. Basic din siya, pero iba nga lang siya sa basic bat joint. Let's proceed to the third one, the rabbit. A rabbit is basically a dado cut along the edge of a board. Rabbits are often in use at the back of cabinets and other similar assemblies for attaching the back to the side of the box, adding a considerable amount of strength to the assembly. When we say rabbit, uh, mayroon siyang, kung mapapasin natin, madalas itong ginagamit sa cabinet. Mayroon siyang uh, another box para mag-overlap sila at para mas maging matibay pa sila. Pero maliit na maliit na box lang kung mapapansin natin sa picture. Let's proceed to the half-lap joint. Um, when we say the half-lap joint, it is where half of each of the two boards being joined is removed. So that the two boards join together clash with one another. So this type of joint can obviously weaken the strength of the two adjoining boards but also is a stronger, stronger joint than the bad joints. Kung mapapansin natin, mas lumawak. Mas lumawak yung overlapping ng dalawang wood. So, mas matibay siya kesa sa rabbit. So, proceed na tayo sa cross half lap joint. So, there's any question? Are we clear? Okay, so let's proceed to the cross half lap joint. Cross, the cross having joint is another form of half lap but use where one piece of stock crosses another in order to retain the same dimension. These joints are often used in braces, especially where stretchers cross over. Kung mapapasin natin sa cross half joint, ang isang wood at ang pangalawang wood ay nag-cross para magkaroon ng mas maraming dimension ang bawat magagamit nito. At let's proceed to true dovetail joints. Extremely strong again due to the vast amount of blue surface area they contain. Although more time consuming to make them have to make they have a major advantage over the box joints, box joints as the shape of the tails and pins mean that the joint cannot be pulled apart. Ito na po, dito na po pasok ah, magkakaroon siya ng tails at pins para mag-work together siya at mag-reconnect. So, do you understand? Okay, let's proceed to the half blind dab tail joints. It is very strong and resist pulling forces forces well. The advantage with this joint is that it allows a plain drawer in front wheels retaining all the strength qualities of the true version. Kung mapapansin natin sa half blind dab tail Mas kumonti yung tails and pins niya, pero ang advantage dito is pwede mo siyang, pwede mo siyang i-push at madali siyang gamitin kumpara sa half blind, kumpara sa true dovetail joints. So, let's proceed to the box joints. From the word box, a box is a simpler alternative to the dovetail joint because dovetail joints are beautiful and strong but not always practical. Hindi siya practical kasi uh, medyo ma hindi siya ganun katibay. Then to the box joint, talagang mas marami yung pins and tails niya at talagang matibay at mas tatagal ito gamitin. Let's proceed to the tongue and groove joints. When joining two boards along, I, a along edge one can simply bat the joint together and hold it with the glue. However, the tongue and groove joint is stronger and provides more glue surface. Kung mapapansin po natin, mas konti po ang magagamit dito na glue. Mas konti lang dahil iisa lang ang tang na at glues para mag para magdikit siya. Hindi ka gaya sa dovetail uh, at, at hindi ka gaya sa box. Marami siyang tails at pins. So, marami kang mapaglalagyan doon ng glue. So, magasto siya sa glue. So, let's proceed to the mortise and tenon joints. The mortise and tenon is a classic woodworking joint. Joints. These joints have been used since the early time of woodworking and are still among the strongest and most elegant methods for joining woods. Yan, and to the dowel joints. Kung mapapansin, kung mapapansin po natin ang mortise and tenon, meron po siyang ah, sa loob. Meron siya sa loob na 
mag para siyang i-insert, kung mapapansin po natin madalas po to sa mga ano eh uh, sa mga pag mag insert ka ng plug, ganun po siya na itatago siya, hindi ka guys sa box and dovetail, nakikita yung mismo tails and pins, ito po kasi nasa loob, so let's proceed to the another one dowel joints basically substitutes for mortise and tenon joints a dowel a dowel a dowel joint is made by fitting a bat joint and then drilling corresponding holes in the two pieces of wood to the to be joined and inserting the dowel pin or pins before joining the pieces kung mapapasit po sa larawan may dowel doon from the word from the word dowel pinagko-connect po siya ng mga dowel para mas maging matibay at mag-reconnect ang dalawang wood. And lastly, the biscuit joint. Another method for joining boards along the edges like the tongue and groove joint is to cut slot and use beech wood. Biscuit to hold the boards in place. Kung mapapansin po sa larawan, from the word biscuit, para siyang may palaman para magkadikit ang dalawang joint. So, do you have question in any different types of wood joints? None so far. So let's proceed to the making strong wood connection. Uh, using screw, using screw, uh, we can clamp and secure both pieces before connecting with the screw. And number two, we, we can pre-drill holes from the screw to prevent splitting of your wood. Of course, syempre, kung may screw yan. And number three is sink. Sink the head of the screw by drilling a larger hole just a bit under the surface. And pwede na tayo mag-reconnect using by nails. Number one, clamp and secure both pieces before the connecting with nails. Siyempre, kung may nails, mas mapag-connect natin sila. And number two, if the nails are too large, pre-drill a small hole to guide your nail. And number three, sink the head of the screw by drilling larger. All just bit another the surface. So, using wood glue, pwede rin siya mag-reconnect sa mga wood. In what terms? Number one, sad smooth and clean both surfaces before gluing together. Number two, apply even a thin layer of glue to both surface surfaces and do not put too much. It may weaken your connection kahit konti lang pwede na. And number three, clamp and secure both pieces and let the glue completely dry. So, do you understand our lesson for today? Or do you have any question before we proceed to our activities? Okay. So, for our activity, you will demonstrate how to make the different types of wood joints. You can create five groups and select one leader of each group. You will demonstrate in front of the class at least 10 minutes per group. So, are we clear? Do you have any question or any concern? Okay, so let's proceed to our quizzes. Our quizzes for today is First, get your one half length vice and I'll give you 15 minutes to answer your quiz. As you can see to our uh, direction, please read carefully and you may start now. Okay, time is done. Kindly pass your paper. And for your assignment, in yellow pad paper again, you will create a reflection, 500 words. 500 words, maximum 500 words that you learn about wood joints. So, do you have, que do you have question about our assignment? Okay, that's it. I hope you learned something and goodbye class.